Hey y'all, this is the Moon Gypsy again. You just saw me a minute ago, but I'm back again. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your ancestors and doing your family history, your genealogy, your family tree, whatever it is you want to call it. Um, I made a few notes because sometimes I get off on a tangent and a long story and I forget where I'm at because you know I'm old. So um, I wanted to start um, just talking about some events that have happened here in the last couple of weeks. Uh, got together with some different family and they were talking about their family tree and what they've been told over the years. And then it comes to find out after you start doing the research, everything you've been told your whole life is just not true. And so, um, where am I going with this? So, anyway, you know, you have to start looking. You have to do your research. A lot of times, the biggest story I'll tell you, um, on my husband's side of the family, they've always said they were Blackfoot Indian. And then I did research and looked and looked and looked, and I talked to some of the old, old-time, old-school family members, um, and they said, no, that's just not true, or yes, I think it's true. And so we go back looking, and we look in the archives, and we go back and get birth certificates, and we go back and uh, look at the census records and all of those things, and we come to find out that it's not true at all. Uh, another thing that happens in families, they'll say, oh, I'm three-quarter Native American, or I'm 100% Native American, but then you come to find out that one of their parents was Caucasian and one of the parents was one-fourth Native American. So you cannot be 85 or 100% Native American if that's how your bloodline uh, comes about. Those are things to think about. And we don't think about them because we hear our parents tell the stories and we hear our grandparents tell the stories. Uh, and then we pass them down through generation to generation and then people wonder what happened. So that's one thing to think about. Um, go do those records. Go look in uh, the archives. Ancestry.com has a lot of information. You can pull up a lot of census records and no, I'm not affiliated with them. That's just something that I use myself. And I have done our family trees on there um, and I'm working on some of them now. So if you're looking, if you're my family or my husband's family and you're looking for pictures and you're watching this, you will probably find them on there. Um, I feel like another thing that we talked about uh, in the last couple of months and over the years is so much family just hoarding the pictures. They don't want to share. I don't want to share with you, I don't want to give you this, but what happens is so many people die out and those pictures are just sitting in boxes and everybody loses out. The generations and generations to come lose out because we don't share um, and we get greedy sometimes. So I've always shared my pictures, um, whether I like you or you like me, I don't care. It's the family history and they belong to everybody so I always share. And I hope if families watching this that they will start sharing. If you are like that way in your family, that you'll think about what I'm saying and you'll start to share yours because eventually we all die. And then with us all dies that history as well and nobody benefits from that. So, um, if you can, find a place to make a tree, family tree, and start sharing those things. So. Let me look at my notes here and see what else I wanted to tell you about. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to tell you about. On my side, that was my husband's side of the family I was telling you about a minute ago. So then on my side of the family, the story has always been that my great-great-grandmother was full-blooded Cherokee. Well, then we started looking into the story and then it changed. She wasn't Cherokee, she was Choctaw. So then we continue to look for the records and continue to look for the records and everybody's asking and they're wanting to know the story. And so yesterday as I was doing family history, uh, the story goes back, she could not have been 
full blood um, Choctaw because that's what, well they said Cherokee to start out with but then this, what we find out is she was Choctaw or her bloodline was Choctaw and it was, the story was she was full blooded Choctaw that's not true. <laughs> now down the line her mother was full blood, well let's see it goes back down too so by the time it got to her there wasn't it really any percent left in it so several generations back the mother was Choctaw but like I say as the stories go and all of the family it was always said that my second great-grandmother was full-blooded Choctaw and as we go through the records that story is not true yes there is both dying but no she was not uh, full-blooded so those are things to check so we go through and we we check you, you can't just pass down the stories and continue to say this is how it was because my mother said or this is how it was because my grandmother said and you close your eyes and you stick your head in the sand and say I don't want to know anything different because what happens is when you just stay focused on that one story you miss the whole beautiful story of the rest of the family um, what I did find out by doing all this research is on that line of family that we were looking for just two hours down the road for me was a very big settlement of that line of the family that we didn't know we did know that they um, were fr there was some that had come to that area but we didn't know how big of a settlement it was and that so many of them are buried in that cemetery there so now I get to do a road trip and go out there and find my family in that cemetery and document their graves and all of those things so that's really cool and so like I say if you just focus on the big story every family has a big story like oh we were the Indian princess or oh we were um, owners of oil wells way far back or oh we were owners of department stores way far back but the stories are always misproven disproven and if you concentrate on those you miss everything around it all your other ancestry and stuff so that's one of the things that I wanted to make sure to tell you look further than the story go look in the archives go sit in those dusty rooms go through the pictures go just go road trip go find the old family farms uh, go to the tax offices go to the libraries genealogical libraries um, start talking to your other family members even if you don't like each other start talking to each other because if you don't talk to each other send mail you know people are so much on email and um, social media anymore they don't make contact through the mail and a lot of us have just the old family pictures of course you can scan those and put them out on the internet but some of the old school people don't like to do that so start making contact with your old relatives they have stuff they have it up in their attics they have the picture books and those things are all going to get left also start going to talk to those people sit down and actually have a conversation with them because they a lot of them don't write these stories down they don't tell the stories and you get a wealth of information if you go actually go and sit and ask questions and talk to them when my grandmother was alive probably when I like I was 15 and I started asking her questions then but when you're 15 you don't really know all the questions to ask so now that I'm not 15 and in my 50s and she's been gone forever there were so many questions that she would have had the answer to that I missed out on and so now I have to dig and hope to find them and hope all of that is not lost so if you learn anything from my video make sure that the takeaway from this is go see your old relatives go ask questions share your pictures start to archive your stuff do your family tree whether it's just in a book or if you get one of the free there's a lot of the free tree makers or if you use ancestry or 23andme or i can't remember all of them but um there are also all kinds of them out there and like i say i'm not affiliated with any of them i just really advocate really an advocate for doing your family history uh, and sharing that 
uh, knowledge because you know how we say our ancestors are always there with us. They walk with us. They help us. And if you don't know who your ancestors are, who are you going to call on? Who's going to be there for you? And stuff. So that's one thing to know. Um, I hope some of this information was good. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them below. Make sure to like, subscribe, um, send me a message. Uh, let's have a conversation. Tell me how you do your family history. What have you learned? Also, I was going to tell you before I end this video, uh, 2018 is almost here. And so in 2018, I will be road tripping everywhere. Uh, doing family history. We're going to try to get to Mississippi. We're going to try to get out to St. Louis. Uh, where the old family farms were up in Mississippi. My husband and I both have big settlements of uh, family up there. We just realized he always knew he had family in Mississippi. I never knew that I did. Um, we both have big settlements of them up there. Uh, we're going to get to Louisiana. Uh, lots of family there. Uh, relatives, ancestors, whatever up there uh gonna get down up and down the coastline uh so much history there big history in the port arthur area i don't know where all we're gonna be but what i'm gonna do is um we're gonna do videos everywhere we go and share that information so if you're a family member you might want to be watching my videos and if you're not a family member It'd be great if you watched the videos so you could uh, get some ideas how to archive your family history and see some of the places we go because we'll do lots of fun things and I'll show you everything. So again, if you like the video, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, tell me what you like, tell me how you do your stuff and I'll talk to you later. Have a great night.